Hey Aquarius, welcome to your weekly reading for March 11th through the 17th. This reading is for Aquarius, Sun, Moon, and Rising. This is going to be a general reading in the areas of career, finance, family life, spirituality, psychic development, angel messages, all that good stuff. If you're looking for a love reading, I do my love reading separately. And there will be a link in the description of this video that will take you to the love readings. So if you're looking for those, you, you know, feel free to watch that after this video if you would like. All right, Aquarius, let's jump right on in and see what is coming up for you guys in the week ahead. First thing that I am getting as I'm connecting with your energy is I am feeling that there's a sense of karmic changes. Um, it came up for a couple of the signs last week, and you'll have to forgive me. I'm not sure if it came up for you all, Aquarius. I'm not sure if karmic changes came up for you all last week but if if they did there's still going to be some of that energy um happening for you this week if not then it, it'll be something new coming in uh it's nothing to be afraid of sometimes people hear karmic changes and they get afraid but you have to keep in mind karma can also be a positive thing okay we're gonna take a look at the cards and see what is coming up for you guys though in the week ahead here's your monday tuesday and you all have Six of Pentacles. See, this could be positive karma right here. This could be a positive karma situation right here. Six of Pentacles is basically letting us know that some energy is being balanced out. Usually it has to do with money because it is a Pentacle card. So this is letting us know that if there were financial troubles or financial um, difficulties, those are going to be balancing out or evening out in a positive way where you're going to be able to begin saving money, putting money away, catching up on any debts that you may have. Maybe you, you have credit card debts or school loan debts or maybe you owe money to friends or family. Something is being caught up on. Some of you maybe have outstanding um balance like I don't know if I should say balances but some of you may have lent money out to others and they may have owed you for a very long time and you may be surprised somebody may kind of reach out to you out of nowhere maybe you had even given up on that person and they're like hey remember that time you bailed me out of that bad situation you you helped me out you know things are finally better for me here you go you know I'm, I, I want to pay you back so some of you are having this uh, Six of Pentacles energy literally come in around money. You know, maybe some of you are, are, are landing a new job or getting some kind of a, a, a promotion or raise or a bonus uh, or some kind of windfall of money that is allowing you to uh, get certain bills or debts paid off. For other ones of you, this is coming in financially, but before it happens financially, you may experience it in the beginning of the week where people are stepping up and being more fair with you, okay? They're being more fair with you, especially Aquarius. If you're one of those Aquariuses where you feel like, man, you know what? I always get walked all over. I always, you know, put my heart out there for others. I always make time for them. I always treat other people how I want to be treated and people just take, 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 take and they give me nothing back. And some of you Aquariuses have been feeling that way for a while and you've gotten smarter and more careful and uh, a little wiser with who you're being generous with, with your time and energy and finances. And other people in your life have begun to see this. They've, they've seen this change in you. So now coming into this week, don't be surprised if you see some people might be, you know, like leaving you alone because they know that they're not going to be able to take advantage of you anymore. But other people are also, on the other hand, realizing that you've changed or that you've pulled away and they know, they know why. And they're like, well, I don't want Aquarius to be mad at me or I don't want Aquarius to, um, you know, feel feel like, uh, you know, I'm a bad friend or, or whatever or a bad partner. And so they may begin stepping up. So don't be surprised if all of a sudden people seem to be making an effort to be in your life or people seem to be making an effort to help you out or share responsibilities with you. Uh, some of you may be cross-watching about an Aquarius in your life. This could be on that person's mind where they're also wanting to have more balance or they might be thinking of ways in which, especially if there's there's finances between you two that, that, that have been an issue, they may be trying to figure out how to catch it up or they may be manifesting some way in which they're going to be able to pay you back in the future. 
Okay, hopefully in the near future. Your Wednesday and Thursday card. Look, you got all these Pentacles cards, Aquarius. It's all about the money for you guys this week. Um, you have Ace of Pentacles. Now, Ace of Pentacles is definitely, definitely a card that has to do with some big financial opportunity coming your way. So if you're self-employed, you might be landing some really big clients or a really big significant um, stream of income for your business. Uh, you might be getting those of you who are employed or looking for work. You might be getting a new job offer. Some of you may be a promotion or an upgrade in some way. But Ace of Pentacles is a very special card for me outside of business. And I'll explain to you how and I'll explain to you why. As we're coming into Wednesday, Thursday, we're getting closer to the full moon energy that's going to happen next week the full moon energy starts about a week before and a week after in my experience for those of us who are very moon sensitive i happen to be very moon sensitive you know maybe three days before you feel it the most but seven days before it, it kind of starts and the third day before it's like really starting to come in but some of you some of you midweek are beginning to come into the energy that's coming in with the full moon in libra in next week's video i'm going to talk about that more i'm going to explain that more because it's going to be a significant shift that's happening um, with a lot of the waking up that's happening in the world right now but ace of pentacles is a special card for me because for me, uh, pentacle cards in general or the coin cards or money cards are also about energy. Okay, money is just a way that we measure the energy that we spend. You go to work, you give your boss eight hours, your boss gives you X amount of dollars that represent the eight hours that you gave your boss, right? Money is just a way that we measure energy. So when I see Ace of Pentacles over the years that I've done tarot reading, I have seen that what it means is that when this card comes up, the person that I'm reading for is about to have a really massive energetic breakthrough where you're coming into a whole new energy. Now, this is powerful because the full moon that we're coming into, obviously, full moons are about releasing. So a lot of you are finally getting rid of some block. And as a part of this, you might be tired. You might be super emotional. You may be weepy. You know, I know Aquariuses, you guys really, really like to be in that positive energy. And you like to be like in that high vibration. And you don't like to get caught up in like tears or heavy emotions. You like to keep it light. You like to keep it positive. Um, and you're definitely about to have a massive positive shift. But if midweek, if you are feeling like all of a sudden these heavy emotions are coming up and jumping out of you, it's good. It's good because something that's been buried for a long time or something that has kept you stuck for a long time is finally being removed, okay? So whatever area in your life that you have felt stuck, if you felt stuck in your career or if you felt stuck in your romantic life or if you have felt stuck with family issues whatever it is maybe it's all of the above for some of you maybe all of you are like check 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 and check all of the above uh, whatever it is the areas in which you have felt stuck you're clearing it finally that that nasty little attachment that nasty little energy parasite that you haven't been able to shake for a long time is finally being cleared out of the way. So this is a very significant energy shift that's happening midweek. As a result, some of you are going to be very tired or very emotional. Be gentle with yourself. You know, it's good to have goals. It's good to be like a strong person who says, I'm going to pick myself up by the bootstraps and keep going. But sometimes we just need to take a moment and chill out and rest. Okay. I understand you might have obligations. Some of you might be, you know, parents who are working full time and you can't neglect your kids and you can't neglect your job. I get that. But in your downtime, make sure you're making use of your downtime. Don't be multitasking and doing all kinds of crazy things or extra things. If you can put it off for the next day, put it off for the next day. Make sure you're getting your sleep. Make sure that you're, you know, drinking enough water. Make sure that you're taking care of your body because... You need that fuel right now for those of you who are having a really big clearing or a really significant clearing. It takes a lot out of us physically sometimes when we're releasing spiritually or emotionally. So make sure you're taking good care of yourself. Your Friday, Saturday, and Sunday card, how very lovely, is the Empress. Okay, this is a major arcana card. 
And I think it's really beautiful and really powerful that it's coming up here for you, Aquarius, right after the Ace of Pentacles card, because I just explained why that's such a special card for me as a reader, how I see it, how I've experienced it. And the Empress is a major arcana card. So it, major arcana cards come up when we're at a really significant life change or a really significant like shift or, 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 a, or a level up in some way. And so you're coming into that energy at the end of the week. So I can already say, Aquarius, that the full moon that's going to be coming in next week, in the early part of next week, uh, is going to be a very significant one for you because you're ending this present week with the Empress, okay? The Empress is a card about uh, intuition, creativity, magnetism, success, you know, um, uh, just people wanting to be near you, people respecting you. And I feel this is the biggest thing. It's like, I just got chills. I just got chills, Aquarius. Your reading just came around full circle for me. I just got chills. Um, in the beginning of the reading where I was saying there was going to be some karmic shift or karmic change, and then I said, I think it's going to be a good one. And then we got six of pentacles and it was about things being even or people investing energy in you so that you're not always the one giving. The Empress is like the ultimate giver, okay? She's like this very nurturing, very motherly energy. This card can represent creation, uh, art, uh, you know, uh, motherhood, uh, you know, conceiving a child, birthing a child, nursing a child, all of those very giving energies. So it's definitely a card of like just producing and fertility and giving. And some of you, maybe there's like things happening with fertility, like, you know, where maybe some of you are, are improving fertility or maybe some of you are trying to get pregnant or maybe some of you are getting pregnant. That may be an aspect for some of you. But overall, when that Six of Pentacles card came in about how, you know, you were going to have this balanced energy and people putting energy into you. The Empress is like, you're not losing that nurturing side of you. You are still that giving person that you were. You're still that big hearted Aquarius who's giving to others. But the difference this time around is the Empress is respected. The Empress is like people are in awe of her. They don't want to upset her. They want to come at her with the proper respect and energy and they want to be in service of her. Okay, and I don't mean in service in like a like a dark like master and slave kind of way, but they want to honor her. They want to respect her. They want to be on her good side, and they just want to be in her beautiful energy. So a lot of you Aquarius, you're gonna see the shift happening in your life, and it may start in small ways. It might not be in big pow boom kind of ways but you're gonna begin sensing and seeing that shift some of you are already seeing it and something is happening at the end of the week where you're receiving a confirmation about it like like you know signs are coming in that you're like you know what this is it this is the new me I feel a lot of you are shaking off an old identity where people saw you as very soft spoken or a pushover or oh you know Aquarius won't mind if I do this or Aquarius is gonna be cool if I do that and you felt very stuck because you're like well this is how it's been for so long with my family or this is how it's been so long in this job either you're leaving that situation for a new situation or the people around you are recognizing and seeing the changes in you and they're doing right by you they're stepping up okay and there's that positive shift happening for a lot of you Aquariuses we are going to pull your angel message card for the week and guys this is a general reading so be sure that you watch your moon sign and rising sign videos because that's going to add extra information for you it's impossible to say that every single Aquarius is having the same exact situation there's going to be parts of the reading that resonate with you there's going to be parts of the readings that affect you all in different ways but watching your moon sign and rising sign um, videos are going to give you more specific information, like extra pieces to the puzzle, okay, that have to do with you and your situation. Okay. Let's see what your angel message is for the week. No way. You saw how much I shuffled. You saw how much I shuffled. Uh, Aries just had this card. That is crazy. That is crazy. That is you saw me shuffle, guys. You saw me shuffle like crazy. Alright? You know, maybe some of you have Aries in your chart. Maybe some of you are dealing with an Aries. 
um, or not. It doesn't have to be. But um, this is definitely a card that's coming in about that feminine energy. And I feel that's kind of like a, that's kind of like a, a theme for you, Aquarius. You know, ab about being able to receive. You know, like maybe you've been giving a lot. You've been giving a lot and the Empress said that you're going to be receiving now. Um, but again, you're, you're, you're seeing that uh, feminine energy of being a giver, of being nurturing, of being loving. You're finding ways in which it's powerful. This particular card is called Anna, Grandmother of Jesus. Seeing the light, laying foundations, and divine plans. Now, I said this when it came up for the other sign. Some people get very unhappy when there's any talk of Christianity or Jesus or anything on this channel. It's happened in the past. This is the card. Um, I'm a, I'm a spiritual person. I'm a metaphysical person. I'm obviously a tarot reader, but I do identify as Christian. And so it doesn't bother me. Like, I love to talk about this stuff. But if you are someone who's like, well, that doesn't apply to me because I'm not Christian. Or that doesn't apply to me because I, I don't believe in Jesus or whatever it might be. If we just take the accounts that are written about the kind of, you know, person Jesus was said to be about being a healer, about being a giver, about helping the poor, healing the sick, you know, um, making change by going away and throwing out the, the people that were like, cheating the, the 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 merchants that were cheating the people in the temple or like the, all the kinds of stories of like different things that he did to make sure people were being treated fairly and like in in a in a loving way it's basically the story of a man who woke up and realized that he was a light worker okay that he was here to help people so a lot of you are going through an awakening in that way and you're connecting with your higher self you're connecting with that part of you that's here to make a positive change. And you're realizing that being somebody with a big heart and being somebody who is giving is actually a strength. It's not a weakness. And a lot of you are going to have some really beautiful, healing, feminine energy surrounding you this week. Here we have this card here uh, indicating that. That you're going to have this beautiful, feminine energy watching over you, bringing in healing, helping you to make your plans and your goals more solid, helping you to move in this new direction. Some of you maybe are big time nurturers because you didn't have a nurturer in your life. Or maybe some of you are hard asses because you didn't have a nurturer in your life. Or you had somebody who maybe like didn't always um, acknowledge your feelings or didn't give your feelings enough attention or enough importance. And so there's going to be healing coming for you in that way from the spirit world, you know, from these guardian angels or guides who are coming in and bringing you that sense of nurturing love, that soothing, nurturing encouragement that maybe you didn't get in childhood, or maybe you didn't get in, in, in your life, or maybe you don't get it from the women in your life, you know? Um, so it's coming in for you through spirit this week again watch your moon sun rising sign videos guys because it's going to have different uh different messages for different ones of you uh those of you asking for personal readings there's a link in the description uh and it'll give you information there about booking the personal readings and i have decided by popular request i am going to do daily readings i tried something out last week where i did it one day for each zodiac sign and it was way too much so there will be a daily message from now on starting monday which will be for the amethyst angelite channel like soul family like exclusively for you guys those of you who follow me on social media you know i do a card of the day there that will continue. I'll still do card of the day, but I will hop on for a few minutes every morning. I'll probably do the session live and I will pull a message for you guys every single morning. And that will be the angel message for, you know, this online little family here, this online little community that has, you know, been drawn together that has gravitated here on this channel. So it'll be a message for the channel, for the viewers of the channel or anybody who stumbles upon the channel. Pick a cards are coming too. I had some family stuff this week, so I wasn't able to get the pick a card out. Pick a cards will be happening once a week as well. And uh, new videos are in the works. So I thank you so much for liking, sharing, commenting, subscribing. 
Thank you for being here. Thank you for watching. I am wishing you a wonderful week, Aquarius.